first fatality during the construction of Hoover Dam was J.G. Tierney, who tragically drowned while surveying in the Colorado River on December 20th, 1922. Exactly 13 years later, on December 20th, 1935, the last casualty, Patrick Tierney, his son, lost his life during the project. In 1969, John Lennon and Yoko Ono consulted an astrologer who predicted John's death would occur on an island. Deeply disturbed by this prediction, they canceled their planned Greek Isles vacation. Just over 10 years later, John was shot and killed on Manhattan Island. Yoko Ono had previously shared their eerie experience, mentioning in a 2000 interview that they hadn't considered Manhattan as an island in that prophetic context. On February 22nd, 2023, a brave firefighter named Ethan Quillen in Michigan went to help with a problem. There were power lines and trees that fell because of freezing rain and ice. After they made the area safe, a different power line broke and hurt Ethan. He got knocked down and got a big shock from electricity. Sadly, he didn't make it. In 2020, J.W. Ransom was hanging out with friends and family when they dared him to swim across a pond for a down payment on a car. Before entering the water, J.W. turned to ask them, If I drown, who's going to come get me? He drowned while trying to swim across. The Omak Bombing the red car in this photograph contained a bomb that claimed the lives of 29 people and injured some 220 others. The man and child in this photo both survived. The photographer didn't. In 1991, an actor named Phil Lewis, who played Mr. Mosby on the TV show The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, got into a car crash. He was drunk when it happened, and sadly, a person named Isabel Duarte from Maryland got hurt really bad and didn't make it. Because of this, Phil had to go to jail for five years. In 1970, in Florence, Oregon, there was a big problem with an eight-ton beached whale. They tried to use dynamite to make it go back into the sea, but it didn't work. Instead, the whale exploded and its blubber fell all over the beach and they filmed the whole thing. In 2012, a 23-year-old gamer named Chen Rongyu had a heart attack and died while playing a game called League of Legends for 23 hours at a place with computers in Taiwan. The people who worked there didn't notice at first because his hands were still on the keyboard and mouse. A man named Derek Keeper didn't like seatbelts. He said the government shouldn't control everything. But then he got into a car crash and was thrown out of the car because he wasn't wearing a seatbelt. This is a photo of Austin Howell, a free soloist rock climber, the morning he died, June 30th, 2019. A rock hold broke after he grabbed onto it. In 1977, the University of Evansville basketball team had a really sad time. They were in a plane crash and only one player, David Furr, didn't go on the plane because he hurt his ankle. But two weeks later, David and his brother Byron had another accident in a car, and all the basketball team members were gone. At the Mutter Museum, there's a necklace made from strange lumps. It was made a long time ago to help doctors learn about these lumps called genital warts. This picture shows some young people from Somalia who are saying things against America. They are sitting on a broken American helicopter. A long time ago, on October 3rd, 1993, an American mission to stop a warlord in Mogadishu didn't work. Sadly, 18 American soldiers and more than 350 Somalis, even people who weren't fighting, lost their lives. In 1987, a 17-year-old named Daniel Laplante did something very bad. He hurt a pregnant lady named Priscilla Gustafson and her two kids in Townsend, Massachusetts. The year before that, he scared another family by hiding inside their house's walls. In 2019, a student named Alana Cutland from Cambridge University in Britain had a very sad accident. She was on a trip to Madagascar. She was okay when she got on the plane, 
But then, ten minutes after it took off, she opened the plane's door while it was high up in the sky. She wasn't feeling well and was scared, maybe because of some medicine she took. Later, a group of local people found her body. In July 1951, something strange happened to Mary Reeser in her Florida home. She burned up, but her home was mostly okay. The FBI said it was like a candle wick, thinking she fell asleep while smoking and her night clothes caught fire because of sleeping pills. During the 16th century, a brutal torture device named the scavenger's daughter was employed. Victims were placed with their heads at the top of an A-shaped frame while in a bent knee position. This device exerted immense pressure, crushing the victim so severely that it often caused bleeding from the ears and nose due to the intense pressure applied. In May 1996, mountain climber Beck Weathers and his team attempted to complete their ascent of Mount Everest. Although they only had a small stretch to go, Weathers came down with a bad case of snow blindness. After getting stuck in a harrowing blizzard with a wind chill of 100 degrees below zero, he fell into a hypothermic coma. Frostbite set in on his nose and hands, both of which were later amputated. Miraculously, he managed to survive, walk back to camp, and be airlifted for treatment. In 1967, Australia experienced the disappearance of their Prime Minister. Despite launching one of the largest search operations in the country's history, no remains were ever discovered. Harold Holt, who had served as Prime Minister for 22 months, vanished while swimming at Cheviot Beach. A massive manhunt ensued involving efforts from the police, Royal Australian Navy divers, Royal Australian Air Force helicopters, Army personnel, and numerous local volunteers. This chilling photo shows Pope John Paul II speaking to the gunman who attempted to assassinate him in 1981. The attempt was made at St. Peter's Square in the Vatican City, where Pope John Paul II was shot and wounded by Mehmet Ali Aka while he was entering the square. This couple was photographed in 1954, moments after realizing that their 19-month-old child had been swept out to sea. In 1919, a large storage tank burst in Boston's North End, releasing a wave of molasses which claimed the lives of 21 people and injured 150. This event was later dubbed the Great Molasses Flood. The Aberfan disaster occurred on October 21, 1966, when a colliery spoil tip tragically collapsed. This tip had been formed on a mountain slope above the Welsh village of Aberfan near Merthyr Tydfil, and it covered a natural spring. Intense rainfall resulted in water accumulating within the tip, causing it to swiftly slide downhill as a slurry. This devastating event claimed the lives of 116 children and 28 adults as it engulfed Pantglass Junior School and a row of houses. The Great Whiskey Fire of Dublin claimed the lives of 13 people in 1875. None of them died as a result of burning or smoke inhalation. All victims died of alcohol poisoning by drinking the whiskey flowing through the streets. On October 18, 2017, father of four, Kenneth White lost his life when a six-pound rock thrown by a group of teens had smashed through the windshield of the van he was riding on I-75 near Flint, Michigan. The teen who threw the rock served only three years and was released in 2021. In 2005, a 12-year-old boy called Alam Khan witnessed his father get murdered by a family friend. Twelve years later, he avenged the death of his father by killing the murderer in a revenge attack. He cut him into twelve pieces, one each for the years of wait. In 2012, Choi Gapbok escaped from prison by squeezing his body through the food slot at the bottom of his cell door. The slot measured 5.9 inches tall and 17.7 .7 inches wide. Choi, a yoga practitioner, applied skin ointment to his body and slipped out while three prison guards were sleeping. In 2011, 
a British bomb detection dog named Theo passed away from a seizure just a few hours after seeing his handler, Lance Corporal Liam Tasker, get shot. The pair had set a record for bomb detection. Theo was awarded the medal, also known as the Animals Victoria Cross, in 2012. In 2005, a man who attempted to end his own life changed his mind at the last minute, resulting in a chain reaction train wreck that claimed the lives of 11 people. 177 people were also injured. He was later sentenced to 11 consecutive life sentences. Daniel Thomas Suhor was the first firefighter killed, responding to the 9-11 attacks. He was struck dead in the courtyard by a falling body. In 2008, aboard a crowded Greyhound bus, Vince Lee fatally assaulted 22-year-old Tim McLean, leading to a gruesome series of events. Subsequently, due to a schizophrenia diagnosis, Lee was deemed not criminally responsible and was confined to a secure mental health facility in Selkirk, Manitoba until his release on May 8, 2015. This is one of the final images of Dorothy Hoffner, who at 104 years old became the world's oldest skydiver. She died one week later, peacefully in her sleep at her care home. Japanese death row inmates are not told their date of execution. They wake each day wondering if today may be their last. In 2012, a Texas father caught his ranch hand, Jesus Mora Flores, hurting his five-year-old daughter in a secluded barn. Using only his bare hands, the father beat his daughter's hurter and offed him, then called emergency services. Under Texas law, the father was innocent and faced no prison time. The North Hollywood shootout was a confrontation between two heavily armed and armored bank robbers, Larry Phillips Jr. and Emil Matasarianu, and members of the Los Angeles Police Department in the North Hollywood District on February 28, 1997. Both robbers were killed, 12 police officers and 8 civilians were injured, and numerous vehicles and other property were damaged or destroyed by the nearly 2,000 rounds of ammunition fired by the robbers and police. Photo of Airport Ground Service agent Sky King Richard Russell as he arrives to work on August 10, 2018. Later that day, Russell commandeered a Horizon Air Q400 passenger plane and flew it for about an hour, doing acrobatic maneuvers and all. Russell described himself as a broken guy, got a few screws loose, I guess. About one hour and 15 minutes after takeoff, he died by intentionally crashing the aircraft on lightly populated Ketron Island in Puget Sound. His last words were, I'll go nose down and call it a night. Dorangel Vargas, also known as the People Eater, is a homeless man who used to hunt passers-by at a park in the city of San Cristobal, Venezuela. Once he was caught, he confessed to killing and eating at least 11 men over a period of two years preceding his arrest in 1999. He did not eat women or children, and when asked why, he explained that he felt that they were too pure to consume. John Mad Jack Churchill, a British army officer who fought throughout the Second World War, armed with a long bow, bagpipes, and a basket-hilted Scottish broadsword. He holds the last recorded kill with a bow and arrow in action. He was given his nickname after he held 42 German soldiers hostage while wielding a sword in occupied Norway during a 1941 raid. This image shows Mad Jack with a sword in his hand during a training exercise in Inverarey, Scotland. On December 28, 1992, 23-year-old Stephen Clark took a walk with his mother Doris. According to her, they stopped at the public restrooms before heading home, but when she came out of the women's room, her son was nowhere to be found. Stephen has never been seen or heard from since. In December 2019, two rival drug cartels who were being held at Cieneguilla Men's Penitentiary decided to have a friendly soccer match. The friendly soccer match ended with 16 deaths and 5 injuries.
Angelina Jolie once tried to hire a hitman to kill her because she felt that murder would be easier on her family than if she ended her own life. The man talked her out of it by asking her to wait a month and think about it. In June 1994, a USAF B-52 Stratofortress crashed at Fairchild Air Force Base, claiming the lives of all four people on board. On April 7, 1994, FedEx Flight 705, a cargo jet laden with electronics, embarked on its journey. Unbeknownst to the crew, a man named Auburn Calloway was on board in disguise with the desire to end his own life. Fearing job loss and aiming for his family to claim a $2.5 million life insurance policy, Calloway attempted to seize control of the plane and harm the crew. Despite his efforts, the crew managed to overpower him, allowing for an emergency landing to take place. 